what I want to talk about today is uh, how you can use holidays as a springboard for chemistry. And I don't know what your school is like, but usually the day before vacation, you know, is really not an academic day, no matter what everybody says. And uh, in fact, many times we have half days before Thanksgiving, uh, April vacation, February vacation. In the East, we get two weeks of vacation in the, in the uh, spring, but that also means I finish school June 20th, okay? So um, you gotta go a little bit longer when you get those extra weeks. Um, so I do a lot of things around the holidays. I do things at Halloween, I do, we do a whole series of pumpkin demos, and then we have a turkey shoot at, at Thanksgiving, and we do Christmas trees and snow, blo snow globes at uh, Christmas. And so for Valentine's Day, I do the Vanishing Valentine, and I also have the kids make their own chemistry valentines. And the, the uh, requirements for the chemistry valentine is, is that it has to, you know, look nice. Okay, and that it has to use some chemical terms or some, uh, some chemical concepts that we've uh, done up to that point. And they're to make two of them, and then uh, the deal for them to get credit, if they, don't, if they want full credit, is they have to get up and they have to read their Valentines. And I always have to remind them to keep them clean and you know, don't, you know, don't be mean, unnecessarily mean and all those kind of things that go with that. And so uh, I brought some of these to share with you because it's a, it's a fun activity. And uh, I can tell you that when, I have a, when we do the chemistry Valentines, I sit in the back of the classroom and I pretty much laugh my butt off. You know, because they're up front and they're, you're my manganese. Yeah, come on. What was that? I couldn't hear that. You know, you're my manganese. Okay. So I'll just read a few of these to you. There is no greater bond than the one we share. You know, and so you get lots of oohs and ahs. You mean the world to me. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, you, you have a heart of gold. Roses are red, violets are blue, sulfur has a bad smell, and so do you. <laughs> this was written to me. I said, your grade just went down a full letter. You're the only significant figure in my life, that's all that counts. Now see, you thought sneak figs were something that they wouldn't remember. This is February now. Uh, let us always be together and I shall never sulfur. <laughs> hey, copper. I see you in my dreams. I'm glad my partner isn't a boron. They mean replace the B with an M. Because I do have some of those kids in my classes. I'm sure you do too. Potassium, iodine, sulfur, and sulfur. Kiss. Okay. You stole my heart like a silicon. I know. They're creative. They're, I mean, I have to tell you, when, when I turn my students loose, they always amaze me with what they come up with. You know, Even ones who seem like they don't get anything that I try to get them to learn in chemistry, when you give them an opportunity to be a little creative, all of a sudden, oh, he's let me do what I want for a change. But really, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's amazing to me. It really is. Even after 30 years of teaching in the classroom, it's still amazing to me. You are like copper and tellurium. So there's another cute one. And it says, when I see you, I think about all the chemical reactions we could make together. <laughs> okay, and then here's, uh, here's one that actually, uh, this one here is actually, you know, and what I would suggest is that if you're creative, you make some of your own or, or uh, you know, you do it the first time and then you save some. I actually went through about 500 of these when... I was looking for the ones to bring to you. And some of them were very, very good, but they repeated the same theme. But, but I found out a long time ago that if you give them an example of something that you want them to repeat, if it's one that looks like that, that's what you're going to get. 
But if it's one that looks like this, a lot of them are going to be conscientious and they're going to give you ones that look like this. So that's the chemistry valentine. 